everybody, I thought I would show you uh, at least my setup for doing uh, uh, box openings and product reviews. I don't have a lot of available space, so I'm not sitting. I'm not setting up cameras across the uh, across the room and having a nice white desk or, or uh, even a card table and presenting it that way. I like to have a very compressed space, and this is a little. Uh, uh, I don't know what you call it, a little uh, uh, anti, anti area or a, a nook. And so I decided to make this my, uh, my uh, area for doing product reviews or anything that requires close up video. And uh, I think you've all seen this before, in fact I did another video, but this has changed enough for it to require a new video. Uh, basically, I have placed these ball heads on the the uh, articulating arms. The, tr the only trouble with the articulating arms, and I found that, and they weren't really useful 100%, is because I have to mount a camera on this one quarter inch, I'll unscrew it here, there's a one quarter inch connector here where I will attach a camera. But as you can tell, uh, the way this is configured, I'm not going to be able to get a direct shot on without uh, basically putting the articulating arm right in front of me and just looking, looking directly out. So what I can do with this, and this is a uh, this is a uh, a Manfrotto I mean, uh, ball head. All right, attaching these ball heads uh, was not as simple a process as it appears. Um, this is a one quarter inch drive uh, setup here, uh, so it's built to run uh, traditional, you know, it'll fit anything important and shoots a DSLR, but it's not built for these ball heads. So, uh, I had to get an adapter, and this is a Manfrotto adapter, I believe, because by default, these are 3 8 inch drive, these ball heads. So I had to get a 3 8 to 1 quarter inch converter. So it's 3 8 inch male to 1 quarter inch female on this side. And then now I'm able to mount it to the any, any 1 quarter inch drive. Which means you could put it on a traditional, say a low end uh, uh, tripod. And then you can, you can make it a, a medium to high end tripod simply by putting a ball head on it. It's not, it might not be 100% cost effective if you've got one laying around. You could probably turn, say, a, you want to get a pretty stable $60 tripod into one that might have the features of a $180 or $150 tripod. And you'd be playing about the same difference in cost, so it might not be a wise thing. But uh, that's uh, basically how I want to show you I got this on. And like I said, now that I've got this on, I have just got to change it to the side. And now I can, by releasing that, change the attitude of my of my articulating arm. So uh, the camera won't have to sit down along this plane. I can put the camera in at this plane and it'd be in a straight plane looking straight down if necessary. Just wanted to show you that little uh, aside. And the articulating arms, these, these are pretty heavy, so articulating arms can be stressed if you put a huge camera on here at this point. Uh, it will work fine over on this articulating arm with the very large I Manfrotto mean, ball head. The smaller ones I would use for a smaller camera. Basically what I can do now, by just placing this on, and it takes a little positioning. So what I can do now, instead of having my camera in this altitude, I can use the ball head here and simply move it and now I can have my articulating arm over here and I can get a direct view uh, right here of something placed on this desk. And that's basically the, the major alteration I've made in it. And I also uh, I added another full length heavy duty articulating arm. So I have one on either side. So it's quite possible I have a, a, a classic camcorder or JVC over here I can possibly get two cameras that are approximately the same 
uh, megapixel, etc. because it will look different if you get two cameras. But if you can get an approximation of a good camera, I can actually film two angles simultaneously. In fact, this current camera here is basically in an angle directly down. But I could just simply pull this up. Release it sufficiently. And now I can bring it down a bit. So now I can have more of an angle. So I can, it's almost like a recording if I've got a, uh, a lens that will reach a, uh, this type of uh, situation. It's like having a camera directly in front of me. So it's not, I don't have to have a, a tripod in an area where no tripod would sit. And I can still do a box opening here, show my hands, maybe even the, my chest. And if I position it up here, I can show my face, whichever. Uh, so I've got many choices. And this is another one of those mini ball heads. Uh, these, these two mini ball heads, and this is a full size ball head. I've got a review of this, and I will put it in the, uh, in the information below, in the uh, description below. In any case, I also have these lights. There are multiple lights here. These are these are newer, or uh, I think they're 260 uh, LED lights. So I can minimize somewhat the shadow from these two angles. You can't see it at this angle, but behind here there's a large standing light, which I can shoot from the back or side and still attempt to, to reduce shadows. So this is a concept I believe you can use if you're going to be doing product reviews. You don't have to have a little anteroom area like this. You can set it up anywhere. You can set it up on a card table. You can set it up on a, or on a work table, etc. And you've got a good layout where you can have multiple camera angles, multiple cameras.